What's up everybody, welcome back to another Euro NBA video. So today I'm gonna to be telling you my thoughts on the on what ESPN thinks is the all-time star lineup. So basically, um, on social media they posted a picture of what they thought the all-time star lineup is. Uh, ESPN did that, and I'm gonna be showing you what I think about it. So yeah. One of the uh, excellent trash talkers, and we say that with affection. Bird with the script of Petrovic. Magic with the ankle away, try to take it all the way. Pippen with the rebound. Got it over Frankovic. Frankovic playing with. So yeah, um, ESPN had Magic Johnson at the one point guard. Um, this is a reasonable pick. He's an all-time great. He's a five-time NBA champ. Um, he basically led them to the championship, to the five championships by himself. Think about it. Like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was there. I mean, um, he was aging. He wasn't that good as he was in the as as a buck. And he had like a good supporting cast, so I could, so but like he basically did it by himself. Uh, that's what I think. But I'm pretty sure he's like one. He's the only player to average 28 points per game and 11 assists in the same season. And I'm pretty sure he did that twice. So like, what the f? And freaking, he, he just he was coming up clutch in all these playoff series. I'm pretty sure he he hit like a game winner, the sky hook. He stole that from freaking Kareem. One game he he hit a game winner winner with it. I'm pretty sure when he was a rookie, um, somebody was injured. He came in, freaking came up clutch and won the game for them. And and he was just in freaking he's an all time great. So I understand why they ESPN put him. Also, uh, Magic Johnson he had multiple 20 assist games, so he can contribute the ball. He had a multiple like high scoring games, so he could also like score the ball and assist. And he I'm pretty sure he, I'm pretty sure he won a. a all-star game MVP so even when the competition is literally all all-stars he still comes up clutch so yeah I'm, uh, I understand why ESPN put Magic Johnson at the point guard of the, on the all-time starting lineup for the possession with 40 seconds remaining the game tied at 85 Army bumps, can't get through Williams, back to Jordan. The three ball for Michael. I want him to take their player to the rack. Another three ball by Pierce. That time, loose ball, Stackhouse has got it. Give it back to Michael. <laughs> Fake on the three. <laughs> So yeah, at the two guard, shooting guard, the ESPN put Michael Jordan. I mean, this is an obvious pick. He's the greatest of all time. Um, freaking when he was a rookie, he averaged 28 points per game. He got the rookie of the year. He got five MVPs. He got six NBA championships. He got multiple All-Star Game MVPs. And um, he came up He came up clutch a lot. Like, I don't know how many times he had a game winner or a clutch shot. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's like 27 game winners. Or, or clutch shots, but yeah, it's, it's, this is an obvious pick, um, shooting guard, Michael Jordan, greatest of all time, so yeah, I mean, maybe Kobe could have been there, but nah, MJ, greatest of all time, um, so yeah, let's get on to the small forward. They are who they are and what they are, Michael. LeBron James going inside. And one for LeBron James, just unstoppable on his forays. His uh, spills to the rim. That foul is going to go on Aaron Williams. You know, this is the one way to bother Miami. They're a weak rebounding team, but you have to be able to punish them like Indiana does. And oh, that's a beautiful. Oh, finds the cutting. So, yeah, um, at the small forward, they had the ESPN all time star lineup. At the small forward, they had LeBron James. This is where I start disagreeing. I mean, LeBron James, he's, he's good. He's good enough. But like he's still in the league like he could get an injury and just be out the rest of the league and he wouldn't be there um so yeah i think elgin baylor is probably better than him right now at the end of lebron's career he probably will be there but i think elgin baylor um is better than him but i don't think elgin baylor should be there i think it should be larry bird at the small forward position in the all-time starting lineup because larry bird he was a trash talker he succeeded at his trash talk at his trash talking like he would say 
oh, I'm about to go 40 on you, and then he would literally score 40 on you. Well, it shows, like, he would literally trash talk and succeed on the trash talk. He would be like, hey, you just scored on me, that's it, I'm scoring 50 on you. And he would literally just, like, go f score 50. I put the, and then um, Larry Bird, he's an all-time great. He freaking scored, like, uh, multiple high-scoring games. He led to he led to the he led the Celtics to a lot of championships. I'm pretty sure it's like I was like six or something like that. I don't know. Um, but he was just clutch. He was clutch, and he was just an overall time great. So I think Larry Bird should be at the small forward, not LeBron James. Maybe at the end of LeBron James' career, um, he should be there. But I don't know. I think it's Larry Bird. Larry Bird right now. Um, no Larry Bird. He was just an all time great. Um, so yeah. That was a small for let's get on to the power forward. Alright, so the ESPN had Tim Duncan at the power forward in the all-time starting lineup. Um this is understandable. He's an all-time great five-time NBA champ, two-time MVP. Um I'm, I'm pretty sure he's, he was a finals MVP like three times or something, like I don't know. Um, um he was a finals MVP at least once. Um People people don't know why he was he was like an all time great, but he can shoot the ball, which was really rare back then. But obviously now it's common. <clears throat> but back then, it was really rare to have like a big man that can shoot mid ranges and maybe extend out to the three point line. And he had like post moves. He could, he could go up and under. He could post move everybody. Um, and he like could pass the ball a little bit. His numbers he averaged a lot of points. Uh, quite a lot of rebounds and he he could pass the ball if he wanted to and he, he even though he had a great supporting cast in Mano Ginobili and Tony Parker I still think he he should get this starting spot at the power forward in the all-time list because you know he was just all-time great um he was putting up big numbers even with those two players so it's not like those two players carried him or anything if anything Tim Duncan carried those two players um Tony Parker and Mano Ginobili uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure his one of his rings was with David Robinson, and in my opinion, freaking Tim Duncan outplayed David Robinson in, in the finals where they won that championship together, because because um David Robinson couldn't win their championship like by himself without Tim Duncan. I mean, it could be argued that he had like no supporting cast like um Tim Duncan did. Tim Duncan had Manu and freaking Tony Parker, so yeah that. But I still think Tim Duncan was a little better than David Robinson, especially especially since David Robinson was aging when they got that championship. But yeah, I agree with the power forward on this list. It should be Tim Duncan in my opinion. So yeah, let's get on to the center. So yeah, um, at the all-time starting lineup, the ESPN put Kareem Abdul-Jabbar at the starting center spot. In my opinion, it shouldn't have been Kareem, it should have been Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard, he freaking, he, he was putting up big numbers when he was in Orlando. He had, he won the dunk champion that one time, he led his bum team to the freaking finals that one year, but then lost to Kobe because he's trash. Um, but, but yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> How many people thought I was for real about Dwight Howard? Oh my God, if you thought I was for real about Dwight Howard, you're crazy. But um, it sh in my opinion, it shouldn't have been Kareem. It should have been Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt Chamberlain, he grabbed like 40 rebounds one game. He averaged 50 points one game. He got 100 points one game. And he got 74 another game. He averaged 50 points in one season. And he freaking was just a dominant center. Um, it could be argued that there was not that much dominant centers. So that's why he dominated in the center spot. But still, he averaged, he averaged 50 points in one season. Oh my god. What the, I mean, he did play like 48 minutes, which is like the whole game. So I mean, um, it was pretty easy for him to score. So I, I could understand why he scored 50 points. But still, 50 of those pointy things. Um, and he got he got 100 points without the three-point line. I mean, he couldn't have... Like, he doesn't know how to shoot threes anyway. But still, like... It's pretty surprising, like what the. Um, but yeah, I think it should have been Wilt. He just dominated. He dunked on everybody. He just was grabbing all the rebounds, scoring all the points. Um, he, um, I'm pretty sure the only reason why people don't put him in the all-time centers is because he only has two rings, and like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has five. 
um, Shaq has Shaq has four rings and Bill Russell has like eleven rings. So yeah, people don't think Wilt Wilt people don't even consider Wilt to be on this on the center's all time list because he only has two rings and you know Shaq has four, Kareem has five, uh Bill Russell has eleven. So yeah, um but I think he should be in the starting spot. Then it should be Bill Russell number two. Then it should be Kareem number three. So Kareem's not even the number second like second the second like pick that I would have at this starting center all time but this is just my opinion so I don't know uh so yeah that's gonna be all for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed please like subscribe comment share and I'll see you next time